tens of millions of people worshipped him as a super idol. And the next minute, he was sentenced to 13 years in prison for rape and promiscuity. Today, we will be discussing one of China's most high-profile sex scandals involving Chris Wu, Wu Yifan, or mm, Toothpick Wu. Why Toothpick Wu? You will find out the answer in the video. You'd never imagine how popular this Chinese-Canadian K-pop sensation was in China at the time. Seven singles from his album and Terry's appeared in a top 10 on American iTunes in November 2018. He hosted and produced a rap of China, China's first TV rap competition, which drew 100 million viewers in the first few hours and more than a billion by the sixth episode. Not to mention the lucrative partnerships he has with roughly 15 foreign brands as a result of his raging fame in China. Wu, who stands 6 feet 1, has Cupid Bow's lips, a V-shaped face, and alabaster skin, appeared to usher in a new era in which male charm is redefined. Tens of millions of followers were simply enamored by his unique beauty. So that time and time again, Wu has let off the hook. When little Gina revealed in 2016 that she was dumped and ghosted by Wu without any explanation, she was ruthlessly mocked and twisted as a crazy girl's desperate want for attention. All thanks to the bias defense of his massive, blindfolded fanbase and certainly the invisible force behind his bankability. Born Li Jiacheng in 1990 to a well-off family in Guangzhou, a southern Chinese city, Wu spent his childhood in a loving and carefree home until his parents divorced in 2000. After renaming him to Wu Yifan, her mother, Wu Xiaoqin, managed to move the two to Vancouver, Canada. Since then, Wu has become the only focus of his mother's attention. She imposed stringent control on Wu's social circles as well as his after-school activities. Wu was meant to study medicine and eventually become a doctor in her plan and nothing could be more important for her and her son to achieve that goal. Wu, on the other hand, continually tested his mother's tolerance by doing anything other than study, pushing him further and further away from his mother's ambition. However, an unexpected enrollment by South Korean's SM Entertainment in 2007 placed him onto the springboard that then rocketed him to supreme stardom in China. Four years later, he showed up with an alleged new face as a newly minted member of EXO, a multinational boy band that could communicate with fans in Mandarin, Cantonese, Korean, and English. Riding with the growing K-pop waves prompted by pioneer bands such as Big Bang, Super Junior, and Girls' Generation, EXO burst into enormous fame. Astonishingly, Wu left EXO for China in 2014, seeking to be more than just a singer and dancer for a Korean company. He subsequently sued SM Entertainment, claiming that the company ignored his health and opinions and discriminated against EXO's Chinese members. In 2016, the two parties reached a settlement, and Wu was set free. Without a doubt, he made a correct decision. With China's entertainment industry flourishing at the time, his rising visibility as a former core member in EXO swiftly drew the attention of many investors. That being said, Qi Tianhong, a notable billionaire in China's entertainment business, was one of those. Through Qi's interlaced connections, Wu effortlessly snatched opportunities to play film roles, one after the other. His first Chinese movie, Somewhere Only We Know, topped the box office on its opening weekend, grossing about $40 million. In 2015, he was named the Best Emerging Actor of the Year by the China International Film Festival, and he was named Newcomer of the Year by Esquire China. With an annual income of 150 million yuan or 20 million US dollars, he was placed among the top 10 on Forbes China Celebrity List in 2017. Little Gina, a 19-year-old Chinese-Canadian influencer, made headlines in 2016 when she revealed her relationship with Wu. She only hoped to reconnect with him after he quietly went away and began ghosting her ever since. Everyone was taken aback by the screenshots of the two's intimate conversation on WeChat and images of a half-naked Wu sleeping soundly. The image of this so-called neat guy is crumbling. In the midst of this issue, Chi's company announced that it will fully represent Chris Wu's advertising, film, and other performing-related matters in China, as well as take on the obligation of protecting the lawful rights and interests of Chris Wu during the representation. In the same year, Wu signed the Jackie Chan's agency. 
With that, the problematic nature of a womanizer was quickly eclipsed by a thunderous scream for support when an unfairly accused idol. Little Gina had hoped for a decent ending with Wu, but instead she was accused of being an attention seeker and a few understanding voices were drowned out. Similar incidents occurred from time to time in the years that followed, and they were all hushed without exception. Unfortunately, in 2018, Ti Hong and his company were impacted by an influx of tech scandals in China's entertainment industry. Ti's ever-expanding business began to falter. The billionaire was even listed untrustworthy by the court and barred from purchasing a train ticket. Consequently, Chris Wu lost his patron. On June 21, 2021, a friend of Du Mei Chu revealed on Weibo that Du suffered depression after realizing she was duped by Wu with his phony relationship. Just like before, Du was thought of as just one of those fame seekers. However, the following detailed revelation said the otherwise. Du was an 18-year-old acting student at Beijing's Communication University of China when she received a text message in 2020 from Wu's agent. She invited her to his party to discuss the prospect of participating in his future music video. At the party, Du's phone was taken away as soon as she entered the property, and she quickly passed out after being repeatedly persuaded to drink alcohol. She woke up the next morning in Wu's bed, knowing they had sex with no protection. Over the next four months, Wu and Du Mei Chu talked via WeChat and met up some occasions. Wu even promised to take her to meet his mother to Chinese New Year. Du was convinced that she has found true love. However, Wu soon start ignoring and ghosting Du. When Wu was reported leaving a movie theater with another 18-year-old model, it became apparent that Chris was never serious about Du. All Du wanted was an apology, but instead she was inundated by online attacks and upset fans who were acting on Wu's orders. The outrage drove Du to reveal more details about Wu's dark side. At the end of the July 2021, 22 victims shared their similar encounters on social media confirming the veracity of Du's statements. Du discovered that Wu's agent essentially worked as a pimp to hunt for girls only for Wu's pleasure, with the preference for angelic, innocent, and fair-skinned girls some of whom were even underaged. They'd set the girls' photographs on a table and Chris would select them like concubines. Yeah. Do posted on Weibo. So remember to speak Wu? This is where it comes from. Every time before sex, he'd warned the girls to expect his big huh? thing. And then double check with them when it finished, two to three minutes later, how was it? Isn't that impressive? We had to say yes out of politeness. Du said in the post, but imagine picking your nose with a toothpick. That's how it really felt. Why not alter your name to Toothpick Wu? Her post clocked millions of views on Weibo. It was no longer an entertainment gossip at the stage, but rather a substantial legal matter with enormous social impact. Sensing the severe nature of the situation, all 15 brands Wu represented parted with him overnight. It even drew the attention of the Beijing police. As if Wu's mother didn't find the situation difficult enough, she later filed a police report alleging that Du was blackmailing her and her son for 3 million yuan, about $550,000, and that she'd already deposited 500,000 yuan, approximately $100,000, to Du's bank account. The Beijing police then clarified that the person extorting them was not Du Mei Chu, but a 23-year-old fraudster who had impersonated Du online in order to steal money from Wu's mother. However, all thanks to Wu's mother, because of her, the police began investigating this case thoroughly, which eventually led to the conviction of Chris Wu. On July 22, 2021, the Beijing police issue an official statement, Wu has been detained on suspicion of rape and an investigation is ongoing. Over 17 months later, he was sentenced to 13 years in prison for raping and fined 600 million yuan or 84 million US dollars for tax fraud, essentially killing off any chance of a comeback for a disgraced idol. Wu appealed his conviction in July this year in a closed hearing, and the Beijing court stated the verdict could be issued at an unspecified future date. Ironically, when people blame Wu's control freak mother for his downfall, the lyrics in Wu's song, November Rain, might bear the answer, I'm a savage, I'm a good guy, turn bad guy when it crossed the line.